sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm starting this. Sorry. <laughs> My nose is bleeding. It's the reason is that the amount of king trail that was covering the last few days in the sky in the, the children garden, they didn't allow the children to go out. It was so contaminated, and I'm sleeping. I was sleeping outside on the terrace on the roof, partly because I wanted to to experience it all. I was ready to challenge this dead air with my practice of. say, uh, overcoming it by breathing. So I am subject to direct uh, attacks of different kinds, but including heavy toxic trail that is being spread in this area of Abbas. And it's been so bad, you couldn't see the, the sun, you couldn't see the sea, that it's just uh, Usually, visually, out of my terrace, it was not shown. It was all white haze. And within this flow that I took with the subject of uh, the killing, killing time, killing time. Killing time that is towards allowing the greater scope of life spiritually to overtake my entire existence. So I was talking about breathing, and I was talking about breathing to practice breath in more, more ex extensive way, in more expensive way than uh, usually people think about it. Usually maybe yogi get to it pretty soon, but anyway, when breathing becomes, uh, when breath becomes means for, um, to support, uh, every experience to support your body and in generally, generally and in every moment and every instance. So breathing also supports your thought matter, your conceptual uh, way, the way that you choose to Cognite verbally or emotionally, and also physically. So, yes, so what I was going to touch now is actually the higher part of the breast, the higher part of the lungs, as you want to call them, and the lower part of the, the lungs. So far, what I was practicing and was I what I was actually capable of speaking about pretty fluently is my experiences and my study into the the upper side of the lungs. As once previous like thirty years ago heavy smoker, thirty years ago I stopped smoking. I still take splits once in a while. I, I don't smoke much anyway, even if I smoke, I never took it to, I smell it, if I like take from a, a smoke, smoke a joint, I will not smoke the joint, I will smell it from my nose so I can control the amount that I want. Anyway, the idea about the higher part of the lungs 
was to eventually allow the breath through all the traumas that were kept in this part, which is the emotional part. All this that was kept in the lungs when I was smoking, all that that was kept me from looking up spiritually, um, allowing myself to dream everything that you could on to the higher part of the that is above until the, the cosmic and their intergalactic and infinity itself can be experienced through this part. It's like a flower. I think that a good uh, note that you have experienced it, do you experience it, that you hear a certain, not here, but actually your inner ear, in, inner ear, or your mind in general, or your aura is, is aware to you, you are aware of very high pitch frequencies that are part of you, that are part, part of your soul matter as well. Your very existence here vibrates, so you can hear it through this part. So the, 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 the importance of the higher part breathing, also with, with movements, with doing things, what the hands symbolize, it helps with this. And also comes to a point of self-worth, because your stature, when you are like this or like this, is meaningful. So, um, being able to rise with the with the with the body or with the idea that you have, with you, with, with the dream that you have, with the hopes that you have, with the emotions that you have, with the love to somebody comes out to here and like fly, flower. So it can, if it is in. Uh, supported, if it is supported by your breath, by conscious breath, when you are there, you can explain it further and further. Every time you experience something that is uplifting, you can breathe with it and allow yourself to go higher physically into the body. Allow the part of the body, the head, this part, to expand. I think that if you go along, along with it and allow yourself to expand and it's like a child that's been brought back to life or something, you know, suddenly they look so charming when they get out of uh, their uh, depression, you know, or something bad and then they feel happy, so it's all flowering, it's like, so this is the inner fact, if you can translate the outside, the experience that you visualize into inner feeling and go up with it and go up with it. And it's your uh, personal experience with happiness. So all this belongs to the higher part of the, of the body. It's not the only part that, is, that belongs to it. All the part of the body belongs to this the communication out of love, but this part I'm talking about, this part in relation to breath. Now, when I finish that part, or I say, let's say that I finished to, or I had a complete understanding, a complete practice, a, a complete certainty that I can go into this higher area and expand it, the, the first thing that came was the lower part of the lungs. So that's why I want to speak today about the lower part of the lungs is the part where all the muscles that enable us to, first of all, uh, move, move about, you know, uh, that would control our inner digestive system if our muscles in, in, the, in this part, in the lower part, so we want to show you. But the belly, the, the muscles, so some people are gaining weight. They want to uh, lose weight. The best part to do it is to cover, recover the ability of the central body muscles in the belly 
to be activated again. And smoking, when you smoke deeper into the lower part of the body, it needs this part of the lungs need uh, mending, need uh, remedy. So what I did since I stopped smoking, that is long time ago already. I cleaned the, the upper part of the of the lungs. The reason I was not even able to handle the lower part of the body because too many parts of my behavior was limited. It was limited in terms of my career. It was limited in terms of my relationship. It was limited in such ways, you know, that would traumatize me. I got, I suffered so much attacks and I was defending myself so severely that my lower part, my body muscles uh, really got ne neglected. They were neglected. Mainly because you get neglected, you neglect yourself when you lose your course, when you don't know what you do where to go, you walk around wandering, or you are sitting down tired of not finding, and and then finding a way with anything. So that was my situation. It's been going on for too long, because I was expecting, I was ready for great advancement in many things that perhaps only now are starting to move. Uh, like uh, disclosure and uh, removing the, the quarantine over the planet, allowing the extraterrestrial connection again uh, back to the cosmos, Earth is, is back to the cosmos, and so on. And, and then the free expression that I missed because the world reacted so, I call it. Uh, I call it that the, 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 the people are stiff, you know, that it just, it's very people, you know, you, you, you forget that you know how to make people laugh. You know, you forget to love yourself and, and yeah, and astonishingly, laugh, laughter is belonging to the lower part of the, of the belly, that is, the lower part of the lungs. And if you, if you, if I didn't handle it, if I didn't, if I neglected it for such a long time, that is because I was not expecting really to be able to feel it. I was not really knowing what to do with this part because my life was so messy. <clears throat> and I don't mean the usual uh, mess that people are talking about. I'm not in any mess. I'm not involved in any business and any partners and any problems. I don't have problems at all. <laughs> the only thing that I had was I was traveling away from my family and I had to come back and keep my word to my son. Well, she knew some of what, I, what it meant, and I knew more of what it meant, and only now we are getting to know what is really necessary in terms of the new world, because I'm a being of the new world, and so it is he. And I was, and I agreed to help him over to the delivery here. I saw him before he was born. I painted him 12 years before he was born. Anyway, I'm not going to tell all the story, but it is emotional barrier that is broken recently within, and I ran, and I managed to we managed together we managed to make family again. So, and I needed it for my basis. I need my basic. Uh, element to my basic feeling to be to reconnect reconnect to what I feel like home 
although I'm feeling home in everywhere that I've been, and easy to feel home anywhere that I come. And I feel uh, connected to those places more less than this. But I, I never, I never had such a heart, you know, centered uh, experience that I needed to. You know, I had more, I had more incidents. I'm not going to talk about it now. Interesting incidents. Yet I had to, go, I had to go beyond the known limits. And beyond the known limits is crossing the life from one incarnation to the other in the same lifetime, going between incarnation, incarnations that I had very little incarnations, but every time I was committed emotionally, completely. It's not that I cannot change my mind. I'm really able to change the mind, but only after I fulfilled all the possibilities I tried and Well, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in a situation that can change my contracts. Anyway, <coughs> <coughs> I want to say about the low part of the land. The low part of the land is where you usually give up on your life. And people will, have, will still have maybe good lungs, they could still love somebody, but if the low part of the lungs is untreated, if the lungs are being neglected for such a long time, you better have you surely have a perception that is the deterioration of the body through this part is so essential. The low part of the body need to be really cared for through the breathing again, deeper into the low part of the body. You can go lower, lower, lower to the base, or what they call base chakra. And underneath the base chakra, this is there is the main power uh, engine of the body that is existing between the legs. I'm not going to talk about this now, but I'm saying just that recovering the central part of the body with breathing is what needed for you, for me, for everybody to make allow my, the, the plan to expand forward at, in a way that is beyond the limitation of time. I mean, it is the deterioration or the illness in the central part of the body which will kill you if you allow it to develop. So to know, to, be, to take care, good care of your, of your body, you need to heal this part of the body that is the belly part. And that is when I direct my attention and my breath to the lower part. And I am seeing that the first conclusion, direction, guidance that I have here about it is that the low part is 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 the one that's aimed to support. your enthusiasm. I mean, the, the power to do something in a loving method, to do something with enjoyment, with enjoyment, to do something that is uplifting, and uh, to do something that is physically exciting. Uh, to do something fully, you will need to, to have the low part of your body uh, I only have to, I'll have to, to have my low part of the body able to support the higher part of the body and to support all my movements. And if you meant to do this, that is when you are like a child and you're running up the stairs and you feel happy because you're running up the stairs, because it makes your, you feel glee, feel happiness, you feel excited because you're going up the, the stairs to, to meet somebody or to meet yourself or into this lovely terrace that you have here. Or you're just running up the stairs and enjoying it. You can run up the stairs. Just 
so enjoyment and love. I don't think that they can really be alive in you if you don't have, I mean, you should have the ability to support their lungs. You allow the lungs to, to be able to encourage the lungs, recover the lungs, fix, fix it uh, from neglecting through, through conscious breathing to the lower part. I'm not sure that I made myself understood, but I think I, I, I was to point. In a way, it is my experience, is my practice as what some people would call a yogi. Everybody can be yogi if they practice self-learning. Self-learning is not meant to make a book. It's just an additional step to life that you live moment to moment. And every moment you don't only suggest uh, many things, many things are possible in every moment, but also include the awareness to how it all works. Uh, moment to moment, awareness that is growing. It's not only in my body that is growing, and in my body, I believe, is growing from now on differently. I start to, I restarted to grow again. So I'm checking on my body as it grows. It's amazing. So, anyway, thank you for watching. I'm your son. Till next time. Ciao, thank you for listening.